Mann. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a double airbrush review. Galleria has kindly sent out two brushes for me to review. We've got the Advanced Series, which is the GHAD 68. This one is a trigger airbrush. So I'm really looking forward to having a little unboxing and a little spray down with this one. And we've got the other Advanced Series, which is the GHAD 39. This one is a Top Cup airbrush. So we'll open the trigger one first. We'll do the review on the trigger one and then join me in part two for the other airbrush. So the actual box itself, nice packaging, cardboard sleeve to the outer, and then you slide the sleeve off and you've got a sturdy black solid cardboard box. Inside the box, when you open these up, you will first see your gravity feed airbrush quick start guide that you get inside. Nice clear images so you can see what to do, how the brush works and things like that. So nice simple quick guide to get you started guys. You get that in the box. So they're always handy to have. On the insides of these lids as well you get a full colour sort of breakdown of the brush. It's like a big sticker on the inside of the box. It just shows you all the parts that go together in the brush so that's another little feature you get inside the box lid in there then you will get a test sample this basically shows you what the brush can do so I presume this is the 0.38 mil because you get two needle and nozzle setups in this trigger airbrush so that would be with the 0.38 getting down on sort of the detail that this brush can achieve. So that's in the box, little bit of foam on the top of that, and then you get the goodies inside the box, guys. So you're gonna get a little bag with two Teflon washers, and these are two little O-rings. These go to the front head assembly of the brush. The brush already has one, but you've got two spares and two spare washers. These washers will go on the nozzle. I'll show you that in a minute. So you get that in there. You've got two needle nozzle setups, so you get a tube with the 0.5 and it says five mil on the actual tube. So that's what you get in the box. And then you get a little plastic tub, it says 0.5 again on that. And that is the other air cap and nozzle. So you get both of them inside. So I open this up now and show you the nozzle. Now these nozzles are floating and they are very they are small guys. It's not like an H&S where you've got a little bit more body to hold on to. These are very, they are quite tiny. So you have to be careful when you're taking these out and dropping them. If you've got on the carpet, you quite easily lose it. Now these no nozzles have got like little flutes that go around the outside. And this is supposed to help with the air delivery coming down to the front of the nozzle. So we'll see what the spray pattern's like. They locate down into the sort of like crown cap head assembly it just drops inside and then you would screw that onto the brush so we'll have a look at that a bit later on when we set up ready for spraying the other things you get in the box is lubrication now i have taken this out of the box off camera and i did notice these brushes sound very very grainy guys they may look all nice and singing and dancing when you look at the brush like this but when you undo the back, when you first get it, they just sound very, the joints in them sound very dry and sort of grainy. So I have put a bit of the lubrication on the brush off camera, just to make it sound a little bit more smoother on camera. But when you do get these, they will sound, they have that cheap sound to them when you unscrew things, when you get it out of the box. But drop some of the Galleria lube on it, put some on the trigger top here. I've undone the back, took the needle out, and then I put some in where the spring assembly is, and it just smooths, makes it just run a little bit smoother. So that's the brush. You've got a solid plastic grip handle, and you've got a single trigger. So it's basically grip with your hand like that, and one finger on the trigger. Comfortable, feels it, because you've got something to hold onto at the bottom. You get a quick connect in the box that screws straight to the bottom of the handle. You'll notice when you take these out of the box as well, this piece here will be loose. 
it's like a little thread there that's loose and that just makes the handle go loose so you push that up tight spin that up tighten that one first that locks the handle in place and then put your quick connect to the bottom and then that will clip to your normal airbrush airline your 1 8 airbrush airline clip straight in the bottom of there you get two cups another thing i noticed with these is the cups guys when you put the cups on the brush and you start to thread these in be very careful when you're trying to thread it in because you could easily cross thread this and the reason why i'm saying you could easily cross thread it is because you've got a lot of play in the cup even when you start tightening it like this the cup still moves keep tightening it a little bit of movement keep tightening it and then it just starts to nip to the teflon washer that's inside the body of the brush but once you've got it nipped up it's not going anywhere it's nice and secure but they are a little bit fiddly to be putting on so just be really careful when you're threading these up because you can quickly cross thread these with that being a loose thread the caps to the top of the brush come off nice and easy as you all well know on some airbrushes they can be an absolute pain to get these off if they don't sit right and you're trying to pick you pull your thumb out just trying to get the lids off but these pop on really nice so that's the bigger cup out of the two and then you get the smaller cup same again be really careful when you start to thread it and you'll you instantly get the loose it's like tighten it up a little bit more just keep nipping it up until you feel it tight and then you're good to go so that's what you're getting nice and simple this brush is a budget brush so you're not expecting like a 200 pound build quality these are 66.98 i think on amazon but what you get in the box for the price it's not bad we're going to see how it sprays guys so i'll move you in a little bit closer we will set it up with the 0.38 that's in there now i'm going to put the camera over the top and we're going to do a little to spray out on a piece of card just to see what this brush atomizes like with the paint see you in a minute I've got the brush linked up to the airline. Now I'm running 30 psi on the main line. We're going to try it at 30 psi and then we're going to dial this in. And we've got the pressure down. I'm just going to do some light passes here. We're going to use some golden high flow acrylics. We'll give it a go with the 0.38 mil needle and nozzle setup and then i will change it up to the 0.5 which i've got here so we'll give that one a go as well we'll see what the paint coverage is like with both so drop a little bit of paint into the cup like that <laughs> i'm just going to pull this through off camera so we'll do a few passes see what it's like now as you can see it actually atomizes really well guys it really does considering this is like grainy golden it's an old bottle of golden as well really responsive on the trigger really is responsive on the trigger So for the 0 0.38, that's atomizing. You can hear the paint's very grainy. But I've used this sort of brush. In the past, I've used these brushes for sort of doing little blow-ins on alloy wheels. Anything like that, I think, is absolutely brilliant for. Because they will get the paint down, as you can see and they will go down on detail paint just coming out a little bit bitter it glitching but that's the paint that's not the brush that's definitely the paint because i noticed the paint when i was it just seemed very grainy but that's the 
works, atomizes is nice. I've dropped the pressure down, but I doubt it's gonna do it much justice because the paint's very grainy. But I think it works better on higher pressure. So there you go, there's a test on the 038. Gets the paint down. We will take the front nozzle off, change the needle, change the up to the 5mm, and we'll give a little go on the 5mm. Right guys, I did notice they clean up nice and easy on these. Very easy, just a quick blast through. Now to change your needle and nozzle in these, take the back off the brush like that. Unscrew your chuck, slide the needle out, take the front head assembly off like that. So your, your nozzle sits inside that piece there. Get your spare one that comes in the box. Locate your nozzle into that piece at the front. That should just locate in there, like that, that seats down in there. That will screw on the brush, like that. You can take your crown cap off, drop that one. So that's the 0.38 gone back in the little tub. Crown cap just fits on again, like that. Get your needle, your new needle, which is the 0.5. Slide that in the back, nip that up, and we are good to go again. So that's a quick needle and nozzle change, nice and easy. We will hook it back up, drop some paint in, yeah, this paint's very old, guys, so if it does spray a little bit bad, it's the actual paint. It's very, very old pot of golden high flow. Pop your cup on, I just pulled this through, and then we'll try the 0 0.5. And this one does hammer the paint down. Atomizes really well, guys, as you can see. It's getting the paint down. Nice atomization on the edges. I prefer the 0.5. As you can see, it's a lot crisper with that sort of thicker paint. Just puts the uh, paint out a lot easier. So all in all, for spraying, it does what it says on the tin, guys. It really does. And it does lay a good coat of paint down. I'm just touching the trigger, and then if you really want to blast it, this thing hammers the paint down. As you can see, that's emptied that straight away. So, I prefer the 0.5 in it, especially for putting coverage down. If you're doing something like 3D prints and models and you're putting like a primer down or like a base coat, Blasting with this will be nice because you can really hammer it down. You can see how wet that wetted up the paper there. And it can get down on fine stuff if you just sort of feather the trigger very lightly. And then you remember you can always, if you've got a real thin paint, you can dial the air in and just puff in the paint where you need to. So I'll spin you back round and give you my final thought on the Galleria 68. Right guys, my final thoughts on the Galleria, the GHAD 68 trigger airbrush with the 0 0.38 and the 0 0.5 mil needle and nozzle setup. You've seen in that video, we've changed the needle and nozzles and tried both of them. I personally prefer the 0 0.5 because I look at these brushes as sort of a workhorse to get paint down. It's the closest thing you're gonna get to a spray gun sort of like a mini gun where you can blast some paint down and this thing hammered the paint out it atomized absolutely fine so i've got no 
issues of it how it sprayed the paint one bit it put the paint down exactly how i'd like it to put it down by pressing that trigger it worked it atomized really well the downsides to this brush that i've sort of picked up on out of the box they're very when you get them out of the box and you first try them they will feel grainy very dry like all the fitment joints are dry so you have to go in with the lubrication that you get in the box which is that one just there drop a little bit on top of the trigger undo the back take the needle out and drop a little bit in where the spring goes in and that drop a little bit around there work it in and then it becomes a lot smoother and you'll notice this if you do pick one up the other bad side is the cups i'm not keen on the cups when you're screwing these on and off because they are you've only got to undo it slightly and it's just moving in that thread and i find if you're a beginner and you go to screw on one of these you don't get it right and twist it you could easily cross thread this you've got to be really careful when you locate that tighten it up once you get it nipped up you're okay you're good to go but just be really careful on the threads because there's a lot of play in that thread so that's sort of the downside is that all the joints seem dry so lube them up needle and nozzles seem absolutely fine needles were nice and smooth well machined inside the cups well machined easy to clean because it's really sort of polished inside so it does clean up quite well so for a budget 66 pound sort of mini trigger gun it gets a thumbs up guys i can't say it is the best out on the market because there, it isn't there is better brushes trigger brushes on the market than there really is and i do own a better one but then you are moving up in the price bracket so the price point that this is at for getting some paint down it's not bad we've just got to see on the testing time see how long it lasts i'll put it through its paces because it's all well and good doing these product reviews straight out the box and the air and its sprays it's the longevity of it it's will this last up to solvent abuse the amount of solvents that i can pump through it how long will it last it's just the testing time if you're seeing spare o-rings and washers in an airbrush box it means yes they're going to fail because they give you spare ones so we'll just see the test of time i'll do some more goes with this i'll use it on the channel you'll see me dropping some stuff down with this brush and then i'll do you update reviews on the advanced series the 68 and we'll just see how long it lasts and then i can give you a better opinion six months down the line if this takes the abuse if it's going to be a win-win but i'm on the shelf with these at the minute until i sort of get to grips with it and put it through its paces so thanks for watching i hope you can join me in the next one because we've got the next galleria brush coming up this one is an airbrush with a top cup so we're going to give that one a go in the next review so thanks for watching guys don't forget if you're new to the channel click that subscribe press that notification and i'll see you in the next one cheers